guys. Yes. Hey. Okay, I show you this invoker and uh, engineer mix up the build. Uh, okay. So the main damage actually got two skill. Okay. This one. Okay. Uh, it's called Koala Way of Koala. And uh, the impact cannon. Okay, hold it. Okay. Okay. Or oh, you can change to Vulcan. Okay, Vulcan, let's reset it. Well, right the call out. Uh, Vulcan. Yeah, we depend on which map and which boss to fight. Okay, sometimes Vulcan is better, and sometimes Impact Talent is better. All right, but generally, I think it's uh, Impact Talent is more fun. Okay, see, I, I like Impact Talent. Okay, okay I mean, hit Creaker and English four thousand. Okay, no clicker. 3000. Okay. Okay, then. Now, see, look at the emerald. It's a silver ribbon. Increase skill damage by 5%. Activating a skill grunge uh, hash for 15 seconds. The hash is not important. Okay, for survivability, i using these two uh, rings. Rerouting cable. Gain 5% of max health as a shield for 5 seconds after spending 20 stamina accumulation resets after 5 seconds of initiation max 50% shield and combined with this generating band it will regenerate 3% of max health per second while a shield is active so whenever you dodge okay, you dodge like this dodge or normal dodge you will gain shield and help regen, right? Up to 50% shield. Okay. Then for the damage, I'm using a tiny booster, a heavy weapon, do 10% additional damage, right? And gain 10% additional crit chain in both carry and turret mode, right? Then this one is a new one, the DLC 2, the Ring of Ordnance is very nice. Allow heavy weapon armor to gradually regenerate while in both heavy carry or turret boats. Double the stuff armor regeneration rate of heavy weapons. That's mean you when you uh, get a gun holding. Now I have 45, right? You regenerate your uh, armor. That means you will have infinite armor. Wait, let's try the Wakan. Let's see, 300. Okay, the number going down and going up, going down, going up. Okay, but sometimes you have to dodge, and it's still going up. Let's see. So you, this is, means you have infinity armor. It's a very nice ring. All right, go with this out. Okay, survivability, armor, infinity, uh, damage. All right, thirty-five percent. Okay, then uh, about the uh, relics, just use shoot it hard. And you will get the, just get the fragment like mode damage, health, and skill damage. Okay, why mode damage? Okay, mode damage because I have used the uh, Lebola, the Nano Swamp, right, with the feedback plus 10 using this mode, generate 20% of single charge value as passive mode power over 10 seconds, level 10. Mode damage generate 15% of base damage due as mode power. Okay. And 
this one by using flying boom trap. Okay, this one is flexible. It's up to you. You what you're using, right? Then just use the fail safe. Uh, plus 10 attach mode deal 25% additional damage. Uh, attach mode you scan a 15% chance to not consume charge. Okay, for the melee weapon, it's uh, not important, just use whatever you like. And uh, armor set, just use uh, around heavy, slow dodge 50%, stamina cost penalty, great health. I use a mod to tonic. I uh, get 172.5 armor around 53.5%. Total DR 58.2. Okay, about the traits. Just see here. Gifted, automatic, uh, uh, fortify automatically. Shiftness, full, because you have the dodge. Uh, and move faster, regroup, help regen, try edge, increase shielding because they have the generating band, so it will uh, heal faster. We go full 10, symphony 10, bark skin 10, okay, spirit 5, expertise 5, ability 5, button 5, thickness 5, because you are uh, while aiming with the uh, Turret or uh, cannon, you can. Wait, where, where is it? Uh, you can. Uh, the movement is speed is faster. Okay, and the thickness Edward's distance. When you dodge, the distance uh be fifteen percent more than normal. Endurance three, recovery three. Uh, all right, just go to watch some gameplay. Thanks for watching. Bye.